If you are in the throes of planning for your next school year, I've got ideas for you. So today I am going to share some of our family subjects and how are we going to integrate group subjects when I have a high schooler? I have got all kinds of ideas for you. That is one thing that you will find about me on this channel. I am never at a loss for ideas. So after I recorded this video, I realized I had a lot of content for you and it was too long for one video. So I have split all of these family subjects into three videos. And in this first one, I'm going to talk about science. So I do a family loop and that loop this year included science, history, and apologetics. And I'm pretty sure that that is going to be the same family loop that I do next year. So this video is all about science. My second part to the family subjects video is going to be history and the apologetics Bible parts of our family subjects. And in the third video, I'm going to talk about my ideas for what I'm calling conference day. Also in that third video, I'm going to talk about the reading challenge that I would like to do for my children. And then there is going to be a little bit of an encouragement about over planning because yes, homeschool moms, sometimes we shoot for the stars and we over plan a little bit. So make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss any of these family subject videos. Here we go with part one, science. If you've been on my channel for any time at all, you know that I have really enjoyed the good and the beautiful science this year. We did a few units and this year I've decided to continue because for science in particular, my ninth grader will not be able to do this with us. So this is just for my second grader and my sixth grader. And we are going to continue with the good and the beautiful. Now, we're going to finish, yes, I said that, we're going to finish our arthropod unit next year. So mom, if you're still homeschooling because you're trying to finish the curriculum, I give you permission to lay it down and take a break. It is okay. One thing with these units in particular, they suggest two times a week, but I like to add nature walks. We like to sit on lessons longer than one day. We like to throw some extra things in there that are also science. So I am not tied to getting a unit done in a month. I am the teacher. I can tailor and use this curriculum, which is a tool. It's not the teacher, it's a tool and I can use it how I please. So we have only gotten about halfway through our arthropod unit. If you wanna see inside this a little bit, I did do a science prep video and you'll be able to see a little bit of this. So we're gonna start with that. And then the next unit we're going to do is birds. So this is the newest unit that the Good and the Beautiful has come out with. It's not open yet, so I can't really show you the inside. I ordered this during a time when they were offering this free nature journal with it. So this is kind of neat. I think you can download it yourself and print it out yourself also. So this is a bird bingo game. There is just some very interesting activities in here. So I got the free one and then I will print off the other one for my other child. And then I got bird books. So this one is on migration, the songbird study book. I have some very dear friends who live close by that go to our church, an elder in our church, and they have the most awesome sunroom ever. And they have bird watching books in their sunroom because their sunroom is so awesome and their back backyard is so awesome. And I thought, I think we're going to take a field trip over to their house and hang out in their sunroom some afternoon and do some bird watching too. And then I did get this snatch game, um, this bird of prey game. So cards with some, I'm not sure how, I haven't looked at the directions, but it has a bunch of cards of really cool birds. And then on the back side has some information and where they're generally located. If this sort of discussion is, is helpful to you, make sure you give me a thumbs up. The second, second two and a half, second and a half unit study that we're going to be doing is the mammal unit. This one is a little bit thicker, so we'll be interested to see if this 
with all of the copies and the extras that we do for prep if this is going to fit sorry for the glare if this is going to fit in my one inch science binder that is right i do all of my science unit can fit in a one inch binder i've seen that question on social media lately what size binder to get so i just thought i'd throw that in there for you so with the mammals i also got the prairie dog town little reader and i don't buy these readers for every single unit i kind of take a look at the books and see if i think if it's interesting to me and if i think it will be interesting to my children to look at now my children as with many children love learning about animals so mammals small pond this is a more of a reader so the prairie dog is almost kind of like a, a chapter book reader the can you track it book so this is looking for different tracks and what kind of animal that may go with down under so australian animals my son just did a paper for his the good and the beautiful on australian wildlife so this will be really fun for my daughters to learn to learn even more about that the next unit that we will definitely do maybe in the springtime is botany so i say maybe in the springtime like i mentioned i am of the mind that i don't have to squeeze a certain amount of units in a year because I want to have the flexibility to go to a state park and go explore in that way or you know another part of science I've tossed this idea around about maybe making the first quarter of the year January February March maybe all about health and wellness and nutrition so I don't have a curriculum for that this is just an idea in my head this video i'm going to throw some ideas out for you that i may or may not do but you can consider them for yourself and i say that because as homeschool moms when we are planning for our year sometimes we shoot for the stars and maybe we need to just shoot for the clouds <laughs> because there have been many 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 years where i have planned so many things and then in the first few weeks of school realize this is too much i we can't do all of this you need flexibility you need simplicity so i'm trying to be cautious about what i plan and what i purchase for that reason i'm going to show you all of these units but we may or may not get to them because if i add in the health and nutrition idea which i'm wondering maybe i'll make that a yearly thing like every year january february march we focus on health and nutrition because a lot of people make those new year's resolutions anyway so why not teach your children about food science and what food was designed to do and the importance of water so the ideas are turning in my head botany so if i do that food science unit then this will be for the spring of next year because i'm assuming that we're supposed to be observing plants and looking for different things so i figure as plants start to come to life again so with this book i also bought the flower identification card game so my husband if you've seen again if you've seen any of my videos where i've been in my backyard you might have noticed that it's very nicely landscaped my husband loves landscaping he loves doing the outdoorsy work he loves plants and all of that so I actually thought this, I bought this game because I thought this might be a game that my husband would, would enjoy joining in on also. So this is all about flower identification. Again, I did not read the rules to the game. So just really pretty pictures. The back of it's just kind of plain. I also went ahead and got these books. So Carl in the Garden, some colorful stories here, Plant Hunters. And this flower study book. Ooh, I can see my husband totally taking this book. <laughs> and then if we have time, depending on how our science goes, because I do plan on doing science twice a week. I just don't know how many units we'll get through if we take longer. But if we have time, then I have this safety unit in here. Look at the back of it. It has a card about poison control, when to call 911 mom's phone number dad's phone number so i 
I saw a review somewhere online that said this is geared a little bit more towards younger kids. It says K through eight, but it's probably a unit that's good for anybody. I know I saw in here about gun safety. I'm assuming maybe there's first aid type information in here. So just good stuff. And I'm also pretty sure this is a, sh I know it's a short unit. I mean, look how tiny it is. I think it might only be t 10 lessons. So we might be able to squeeze this in, in the, at the end of the year. If you've seen my how we do morning time and how we do Bible study video, it, it's one of the one of the earlier videos that I ever did on my channel. It's got some fun stuff in it. So it's I'm sharing books in that video, but it's also, you know, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I like to laugh, I like to be silly. It's got a little bit of that in there. I talked about this book, it couldn't just happen. So I'm throwing this in with my science stuff because we're talking about animals. I thought this book is all about how evolution couldn't just happen and scientifically creates the case for creation and it has a lot in here regarding specific animals so in one of these units if we're studying a specific animal i'm going to see if this book talks about it and this will be like some supplemental reading that we'll do there and then also my son our high schooler he's going to have his own science curriculum. I have all of his picks in this ninth grade video here because a couple of the things that he's going to be doing I think I'm going to be able to integrate my daughters in with and one of those things might be might be the science experiments. I just haven't decided if he's going to actually physically do the hands-on science experiments or if he's just going to watch the videos. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, check out his ninth grade curriculum to know what I'm talking about. But if we're doing any sort of hands-on science experiment, we will always do that as a family. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss part two and part three of these family subject videos. Bye.